So, tell me why you're here. Um, I'm here just because I want to save my marriage because I love this man dearly. Uh -huh. And uh, I just need some help and making sure people, the, you know, I want to know that I'm not crazy. And you are the only doctor I completely trust. I watch okay. your show all the time and I just love you and Robin and the things that you guys stand for. Let me tell you, you're not crazy. That word's a derogatory word. I, I, I don't like that word. And I know you mean it in just kind of an overarching descriptive way. That's, that, that's a term that I, I, I really don't like. And tell me why you're here. Over the course of the last couple of years, um, my wife has a, uh, developed a spirit of religiosity, I suppose, that has me very concerned. Has your behavior changed? Yes, I've changed 100%. I'm not the same person, the same soul I, I once was. And why not? Because I'm happier. Wow, because he, he sent us a bunch of tapes that you encouraged him to record. Correct. Because I see you on there saying, you keep that camera going and you send this to Dr. Phil. Correct. And you don't seem happy. Now, I, I, I'm, I've been doing this for 45 <laughs> years. I know happy when I see it, and that ain't happy, girl. That you don't seem happy. I'm not happy because I have been experiencing so many things the last couple of years on my own, um, spiritually, and I've never been, I don't go to church, I don't know the Bible, I don't know all this stuff, my husband <clears throat> does, and so I go to him, and I try to have somebody, because I've never really had anyone to talk to, Okay. I, okay. But you've changed. You, you recognize I, I, something has changed. Oh, I know for a fact I've changed, yes. Okay. And what do you attribute the change to? God and Jesus and myself. Okay. And, and God and Jesus changed you in what way? They've come inside you? you what, what's your connection to God and Jesus that, uh, that happened within the last two years? At first, I thought it was basically um, just my own voices, um, my own mind but my mind is not this smart. So all of a sudden I start hearing these things and I've actually allowed them to take over my body. I've actually allowed them, I've surrendered to them. How do you know it's God talking to you? When you hear your father's voice, but it's not really a voice, you know the difference. And I asked him the same thing. I said, would you be able to know your father's voice, your real father, if he was to call you up on the phone or would you know if it's an imposter? You learn. I, I've learned to know if it's God, if it's Jesus, if it's the Holy Spirit, if it's my grandmother, people that have passed recently, I know when they're there. And you say that you have visions. I wouldn't say visions. You did say visions. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I wouldn't say, okay, so no visions. Sorry about that. I just, I just hear things. I just hear things well, that I would You said you have visions of, of God and angels and that you hear a voice in, in your head. I think in one of the tapes that we heard early on, you were saying that you were God. God has entered my body, yes, and he, he has done it several times because I've allowed him to. I've said, take whatever I've got. So when you're trying to talk to a loved one about all this stuff, and he will not listen, he calls you a, he doesn't call me a liar, but he basically says, well, I don't believe that, I don't believe that. So when you're trying to talk to a loved one, and you can't even get a message across and them just <clears throat> believe you, Okay, but is hurts. he not entitled to his opinion? He is very entitled, but am I not entitled to be able to say what I need to say with the same respect that I am supposed to give him?